This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another informational Valheim video. Today, we're going to talk about hunting sea serpents. Let's get to it. All right, so before you do this, you're going to need a little bit of preparation. Now, of course, this is going to be easier with a friend and we'll talk about why once we get into the hunting part, but let's start talking about the preparation first. First off, armor up get the highest armor you can get why because you're going to be extremely vulnerable you're not going to be blocking with your shield there's a chance you may get hit and it's just best to have the most armor you can have for this situation your speed isn't really going to matter in the in this situation you're not going to be out running or really kiting anything or anything like that the speed of your boat is what's important so armor up as much as possible so as you see here, I'm in full iron armor. I have tier three iron body pieces, a tier two helmet and the wolf fur cape. You don't necessarily need the wolf fur cape, whatever cape that you have the highest that you can get it level wise, that should work. Next, I don't recommend doing this until you get to iron because of the, the armor that you need and, and the food. It's very important that you have the, the food that I'm about to show you here for this because it's going to give you a buttload of HP and stamina. You're going to need a ton of both of those one just in case you get hit and two because you're going to be spending some stamina at a certain point and you're going to want as much of it as possible so if we eat all of these here i let them run down purposefully just so i could eat and we take a look at look at my stamina bar look at how big that stamina bar is that's what you want so you want turnip soup carrot soup and the sausages all of which you should have by the point you get to the swamp because you get the recipe for this at the swamp and you'll have the recipe for this at the swamp to get those recipes relatively simple so for the turnips you'll just have gotten the turnip seeds started planting the turnips that's going to get you the turnip stew you're going to need one raw meat and three turnips for that the carrots one mushroom three carrots and then the sausages takes the entrails one meat and four thistle okay now this next part is a little spoilery and the reason i'm giving this warning is because this was one of the my favorite moments in the game when this happened to me and it was kind of this just this oh crap moment so i'm giving the spoiler warning now if you kind of maybe want that moment uh come back to this video later so yeah there's your warning anyway in order to do the tactic that we're going to do here you're going to need the abyssal harpoon and in order to get the abyssal harpoon you need chitin chitin is farmed on the back of the i don't know what we're all calling it different things it's a little island that's not really an island it has barnacles on the back of it you pull up to it you jump on the back of it you take your pickaxe to the barnacles any level pickaxe will do i was able to harvest them with the deer antler pickaxe so you get on the back of the thing, you harvest the barnacles, and they will give you chitin. You can take that chitin, and you can make the abyssal harpoon with it. Then you're going to get on your boat, and you're just going to sail. Oh, it probably helps if we put the hammer away. Also, make sure your boat is fully repaired. If you've had it out beforehand doing whatever, just pull it up to shore, drop a workbench, and hit it with the hammer and repair it. So now that we have our food, we've eaten, we're all good to go. We're just, we're just going to back up and head out into the water. Now, now, as far as how they spawn, I have yet to see any real rhyme or reason other than you need to be in the ocean biome. I I don't know for sure if they spawn in other biomes closer to your, or I should say, as you see now, we're in the water, but up here it says the, the black forest. So technically we're in the black forest biome. So like, I don't know if they would spawn like right out here at the edge, um, but if we sail a little bit out you'll see that we'll quickly be into the ocean biome. And you can see up there on my mini map that it says that we are now in the ocean biome. And of course, it's gonna brew up a rainstorm. So anyway, as I was saying, as far as their spawning goes, I'm not 100% sure how it works. I've seen them out in the ocean biome. I've seen them close to shore, but still in the ocean biome, but close enough I was able to kite them back. So yeah, uh, you're just gonna have to go out kind of exploring around until you find one. Okay. It took me a hot minute to find one of these guys, but I found one. So I'm going to slow down just a little bit. I don't want to lose him here while I talk to you. So now that you have one, you got to get ready. So what we're going to do, we're going to just uh, go right like that. We're going to grab our harpoon 
and we're going to attempt to harpoon him. Okay, we got him. So now what we're going to do, we're going to get back on our boat. You can see we still have him harpooned. Now what we need to do is get him to land. So I got lucky here. There's land right here. Now you you probably, you won't know where land is unless you've explored your map and you have a good chunk of it explored. As you see here, I've hidden a chunk of it to simulate that. So this is, you know, maybe what it looks like for you, or you may have just some of it here and you may not know where all the locations are, but you need to find land as quick as as possible once you have it harpooned now don't worry your boat can take a couple of hits you don't want it to take a ton of hits but you also don't want to break the line so don't try to go too fast especially if the wind is crazy you can see we lucked out we got really nice calm wind right now I highly don't recommend trying to do this in the middle of a storm or when the wind is nuts or anything like that now what we want to do is jump off of our boat like so and you can see that we have him in tow now this is where the stamina comes into play because as you see here our stamina is quickly draining and we did not end up with the best location here we're in a swamp which is terrible so now we want to drag him on the shore we can actually change weapons he's still on our toe and we can go up here and we can fight him we want to keep him out of the water we want to try to fight him he released so now what we're going to do we're going to swap back to our harpoon and we're just going to harpoon him again you can see we have him the skeletons are an absolute pain for us right now but it's something you got to deal with you want to try to drag him up on shore because he's going to keep wanting to go back into the water and you don't want that to happen if you run out of stamina you lose him and as you see there that's not good so he's going to try to go back into the water luckily he popped for us it looks like the skeletons helped us there but that may not always be the case for you it may be a situation where you don't have the skeletons helping you and you're fighting leeches and skeletons and everything else and it could just be bad news bears for you if you end up going to a swamp area i highly do not recommend going to a swamp area if you can avoid it but this was for demonstration purposes so you get the idea of what you've got to do in order to get him up here all right i'm going to take care of all these guys real quick okay now that i've removed all those skeletons we can come over here and we can pick up the goodies now the reason you want to drag him up on shore for multiple reasons one so you can actually get all the goodies so as you see here we got the meat the meat floats the scales do not so luckily i think yeah we can pick that last one up so we're good there on the scales we were able to get him if he was out a little bit deeper we would not have been able to get him so yeah you ideally don't want to drag him back to a swamp because the swamps uh it's a hole um but if you can manage to get him far enough up there and you don't have a lot of ads joining in in the fight it is possible to fight him and kill him now, it's a situation where I didn't get to actually show you how that should fully go down because there was a lot of interruptions, but I'm going to leave it in there like that because I want you to see what can happen when you're trying to drag them on shore and if you end up in a situation like this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go find another one and get it into a little bit better of a situation so I can show you a best case scenario. All right, it looks like we have another one here and unfortunately, the wind just turned on us, so I'm going to see if I can catch it again last thing we want is no wind all right we got wind we're headed for a landmass there i'm gonna zoom in here see if i can harpoon him oh that was a swing and a miss okay we got him harpooned we're gonna get back on to our ship again and uh hopefully the wind stays in our favor and it looks like we're coming up on is this meadows hopefully this might actually be a really good situation here so we still got him. He's still in tow, but our rested buff is about to run out, which is definitely not good. And uh, before we get all the way up there, I'm actually going to jump off the ship and we're going to see if we can just pull him up here. Yeah, we got Meadows, which is nice. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to sprint and drag him all the way up on land. Okay, we got him uh, almost. Let's go back down here. Let's harpoon him again. So yeah, be careful because the line can break. So we're just going to slowly drag him up here. Yeah, if you sprint too fast, you get too far away. You can 100% break the line. And if you look, we actually got ads taking care of him for us. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep him on the line. I'm going to get a little bit closer to him. We should be fine. And then we're going to swap to our axe and we're going to go up here and we're just going to start attacking him. We're going to watch our stamina and uh, he's going to try to get back to the ocean. He's not going to be able to. 
And this is why it's so important to make sure that you have plenty of stamina and uh, your HP is nice and high as well. Okay, so we got him up here. And this is the tug of war that you're going to be playing because as you do this, he's going to continue to try to get into the water. And that's not what you want. But if you end up with a situation like this, ads like this, it shouldn't be a problem. And of course, you can keep dragging him. You can drag him as far up out of the water as you want to drag him. So we, we'll do that. We'll just keep dragging him all the way up here until we run out of stamina. Now your stamina can regen, but it'll only regen if he stops pulling from you, but he's not going to stop pulling from you. Okay, so here we go. We got him up nice and high, and we've also lost our rested buff, and it looks like he might be somewhat stuck right now, which is good for us. So we got him in the water here, and there we go, and we popped him. So that's a situation where it's a best case scenario for you. The meat is also relatively heavy. If you look here, uh, we're, we're weighing 130 right now with two of those. So I'm going to throw that out. But yeah, so that was a, a best case scenario. If you can manage to get to some place where you're not going to be having to deal with ads that are going to be a, an extreme pain. Like these guys, they hit you, but like we have so much armor that they're hardly hitting me for anything like 0 0.1. So while, while they're batting me around a little bit, them and the boars and all of that other stuff aren't too big of a deal, but we still aren't in the complete best case scenario there because we did run out of our rested buff and we were wet, which made makes our stamina regen there. As you see an absolute pain in the butt. So I'm just trying to cover as many things as possible. So you know what you're going to deal with. If you try to do this, it is doable as you saw there, 100% doable, but it is a bit of a challenge to pull off. But just remember your stamina management is super important and um, drag them up as far on land as you can before you start attacking them. I lose patience relatively quickly. I'm not going to lie. That's why I'm breaking the little line or trying to attack him way before I should. And I'm playing that tug of war back and forth. Uh, um, drag them as far as you can drag them before your stamina runs out. But your stamina is going to run because they're constantly going to be tugging, pulling on your stamina um, and pulling away from you trying to get back to the water. But yeah, pull them up as far as you can manage before you start to run out of patience like I do and uh, then just attack them however. However, if you have a buddy, that's when it becomes a thousand times easier because you can have, you can be on steering the boat, not having to worry about trying to harpoon and steer. Your buddy can worry about harpooning. Your buddy can also be the one to pull them up on land and then you can attack them because as you saw when they're up on land, they don't attack. They just try to get back to the water. So if your buddy has it in tow, they have a ton of stamina. They pull it up to about here, just hang out and then you attack it way, 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 way faster and easier. Okay, that's pretty much it for this one. Hopefully you found it helpful and informational. If you have any tips or anything else you'd like to add, uh, drop down there into the comments below and leave them. If you found this video helpful and informational, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload other Valheim videos. And I don't just cover Valheim, I cover all kinds of different games. So you never know when I'm going to be making guides for a game that you may be playing. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider in that sub button. I wanna give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my elite crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.